My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Have you ever thought of how you were saved? The Bible says that if you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he died and rose again. And sometimes we have been taught from a traditional perspective to a point that the moment we hear confession, confess, confess, that means confess your sin. That's not what the Bible says. He didn't say confess your sins. He said confess the Lord Jesus. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, somebody shout Jesus. You are my Lord. You just confess your salvation. Listen, people have taught us what is not in the Bible and we have held it as traditions. Do you know why you must confess Jesus is Lord and he died and rose up again? Do you know why? Because you cannot remember all your sins from the day you were born to today. You can't remember. You have been sinning so much that on the cross, all your sins were put on him. So many times you confess him, you are confessing all your sins. You are declaring all your sins at a time in that one man. And do, and do you even know the, the Greek meaning of the confess day? The Greek meaning of the confess day means homologia. Homologia. It means to repeat what has been done. What was done 2020 years ago? It was a man that hung on the cross. And all the sins of the world was put on him. Until he began to cry out, My father, my father, why have you forsaken me? Because the sins of the world was upon him. And the father has turned his eyes away from him. But do thank God on the third day. He resurrected again unto our justification. And unto our righteousness. And when we confess his death, we confess his resurrection. And we declare that on the cross we were for with him. But when he resurrected, we have risen in righteousness. Somebody give Give him some praise. Give him some praise. We must, we must understand the things we say. So many people don't even know that when they sing songs like Oh Yora, Oh Yora, Why I'm sorry, Ephraim, they don't know all their sins have been forgiven at that time. They don't know they have been saved at that time. Somebody shall thank you, Lord Jesus. I believe you died and rose up again. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Listen, believe it, believe it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why have you been given such a precious gift? And you don't even use it for the right purpose. You keep gossiping with this tongue. You don't even use it for what will bring good upon the land. You keep using it to curse. When you should be using it to repeat what God has done. What has he done? By his stripes, ye were healed. Homologia means repeat it. Repeat it. Don't repeat what the devil is doing. Repeat what Jesus has done. Don't repeat the evil dream you had. Repeat what God has done. Don't repeat the curses of your grandmother 30 years ago. Repeat the blessings of the cross 2020 years ago. Repeat it. Somebody say, from today, I refuse to repeat what the devil is doing, what evil powers are doing. I, re I refuse to repeat what is happening around me. I repeat what Jesus has done. I declare his lordship. I declare his death. I declare his resurrection. Give him a shout of praise. On the other day, Jesus told them, he said that 
if you are going before the council don't even premeditate for the holy spirit will put words in your mouth that even your adversaries cannot gain say he will put words please if the holy spirit put words in your mouth don't keep silent because you fear the one standing with you there are some of you the holy spirit keeps saying that you are about to see blessings keep shouting it even when everybody is doubting you If the Holy Spirit is imprinting in your mouth that declare that this year you will marry, keep declaring. Even when you don't even have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, keep declaring. Speak in line with the Spirit. Speak in line. The Bible says that there is no private interpretation to the prophecy as the old prophets spoke, as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. So everybody has the capacity to be inspired by the Holy Spirit until the words that comes are full of grace and full of salt. Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 29 talks about it. That in part edify with your words. Edify with your words. Edify with your words. Job says 25, how forceful are right words. How forceful. They carry power. They carry power. Solomon said, words spoken rightly are like apples of gold in baskets of silver. Right words. Speak it forth. The time you must keep silent is when you are angry. Don't talk. If you have to speak, to speak words that destroys, you, are, you look more like hell than God. Have you not read James chapter 3? It talks about it. He said that the tongue is a little element in the body, but it can set the life on the course of hell. It's a world of iniquity. And the tongue is a flame of fire. It is the whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. Your tongue can corrupt your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire. For it is set on fire by hell itself. So whenever hell, the gate of hell wants to invade the man, the part of the man that he invades is his tongue. He says that it sets on fire by hell itself. So when the gate of hell wants to attack a person, it attacks the tongue of the person. And the tongue of the person sets the whole life on fire. Somebody say, Lord, help us. I've made errors before. I've spoken out of grief. I know you have. We've all made errors. We've all said things we shouldn't have said. But there is always room for repentance. Knowing who you are. That this is what makes you unique from all creation. Your ability to speak the right things. And how do you do that? Under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came, he gave words. He gave utterance. He that is sent of God, speak at the word of God. Because the Spirit is given to him without measure. The Holy Spirit is always supplying words. I've seen it. I've experienced it. I remember a young boy who was to go to school. And everything shows that I was, I was to be the one to sponsor the education. Because the mother didn't have anything. Then I held the hands of the boy and I said, Lord. You know I am not financially sound at that time to also handle this case. I held the hand of the boy. Words started coming from my mouth. I started speaking things I've never thought of. I spoke over the boy and I paid the first school fees. Second term in secondary school. The boy was there waiting to be sacked. He was not sacked. Another time has come and then the headmistress calls the boy and tells the boy, there is a thick, tall man. Your father has been coming here. Some of you remember that testimony. Your father has been coming here to come and pay everything. And he's saying that if there is any debt, we should give it to you. And if you need money, we should give it to you. And he will keep coming to pay every debt. That is it. And that is how the boy completed secondary school. And never saw the man. Never saw the man. But the man paid everything. I, sometimes when the boy comes I try to tell the boy no no I can't believe this and the boy will show me receipt of payment meanwhile he has never seen the man this is not a book I read this is a testimony in our church there was a girl that epilepsy was tormenting and embarrassing our whole services 
every time she will come to church the the epilepsy will come like three times every week and every time she will come to church epilepsy will happen and because of that this girl's family didn't take care of her the the boy that impregnated her every, she ran away this girl was not having anybody to take care of her and she cannot work because of this infirmity the one day it happened in service I quickly closed service I went to the girl laid my hands on her suddenly some words started coming listen to me I'm telling you about how you can avail yourself for the Holy Spirit to put words that will change people's lives and change your own life I don't know where the words were coming from I said Lord it looks like I pity this girl more than you pity her I didn't know that was blasphemous I, I, I knew I was blaspheming that was blasphemous I can't love a, a person more than God but the words were coming I said from today this church will not have my offerings again this church will not have my tithe again after every service I will give my tithe and my offering to this girl if God you will not heal her people of God that was the last time the epilepsy showed up that was the last time I remember when I was saying those words I was crying and that was how God healed her and her whole family came to me and I remember they came they bowed down on their feet they thanked me and I've been asking about her and that thing has not showed up again it's been more than four years listen there are times that words can be born don't speak like a child of the devil don't speak like somebody who comes from a poor family don't speak like somebody who has failed in life don't speak like somebody who is weak speak like a child of god don't speak like a man speak like somebody born of god they that are born of God overcome it, the world. And this is their victory. Even their faith. Let me close you with this. I remember some time ago, it was a Saturday night. I was preparing for service. Then Daniel began to cry. And he doesn't like crying. But this time, nothing will stop him. Nothing will stop him his mother tried everything so i got disturbed i stopped what i was doing and to try to engage him and the boy would not stop crying he continued for more than 30 to 40 minutes for nothing will console the boy then i bowed my head and the lord said lay your hands on him and i thought i was going to lay my hands to begin to say lord touch Lord, do this. The moment I obeyed the Holy Spirit, laid my hands on the boy, what came out of my mouth is, Devil, leave the boy now. How long did it take him? In less than a minute. That's how the boy started running about and playing. Listen to me. No, listen to me. Listen to me. This was worse. Do you know the things you must be speaking to that you have been silent all this while? Some of you are crying for nothing. Change the way you talk. You are a child of God. Speak in line with God. Let grace fill your heart. Don't talk like a worldly person. She said, Do you know how you became a speaking spirit? God breathe then that breath is the power of God inside you to enable you to speak and you are using the power of God to declare destruction and do my ask say you were speaking from the breath of God she said yeah sorry I am basa you were speaking from the breath of God you are wasting God's breath. 
today church was not powerful church was not powerful you just wasted the breath do you know what it means for a church to be powerful it's not falling down it's god imparting you it's an encounter that encounter is more than physical manifestations let the weak say i hope you enjoyed this video and i believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend and also make sure that you like the video so that youtube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message if you have any question please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you and also if you are watching this video and you don't know jesus christ ask the lord and personal savior i want you to make that decision just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and lastly make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded you can be notified thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section bye